And those mail ballots should be arriving in the mail if they haven't already. And starting today, drop off locations will open all across the county. There's plenty of them. News 8's Chris Groh is at one of those drop off locations in Chula Vista with the story. And we've already seen quite a number of uh, drop offs occur, so it does appear that some of the residents around here have started to receive their mail in ballots. Now, uh, 1.9 million of them have been sent out to register voters across San Diego County, and uh, this does look to be one of the more used methods to vote uh, as we've seen compared to previous election cycles. Now, uh, we want to go over exactly what you need to do. If you do decide to mail in vote, there are 126 drop off locations. That's in case you want to go ahead, make sure you fill out your ballot, seal it up in that envelope, sign it yourself and then bring it to one of those drop off locations. But again, you could still use the post office. Now, one of the reasons why uh, we're seeing election officials not only push for people to go ahead and use mail in ballots, but also go out to early voting as they want to try to limit the amount of people in line congregating all at once, especially now during the pandemic. They want to make sure that everyone stays safe. That's one of the reasons why we're asking for voters to act early through the 29 day period that we are open here at the registrar voters office and also consider voting that mail ballot because it could create a long lines. And there can be a lot of confusion, not only surrounding mail in voting, but also when and where exactly you can even do some of the early voting, because if you remember, uh, the only place you can do that early voting is the registrar of voters down in San Diego, down in Kearney Mesa up until October 31st. So to help you out with that, we have a guide. Just go to our website, cbs8.com and click on that help button. Reporting in Chula Vista, I'm Chris Groh, News 8.